Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Stop telling me things. But don't you want to know your weekly report? Isn't it super important knowing how long you spend looking at your screen? <laughs> That's definitely a, a feature worth tracking <laughs> and telling us every week. <laughs> Apple just likes to tell you you're a junkie. <laughs> Hey! Hey! If you like this content, please subscribe. You can leave a comment. Like it. We're also on Anchor. We're on Anchor. Both of our podcasts are on Anchor. So if you're on the go and you want to listen instead of having to watch YouTube, you can find us there. It also works on Spotify as well. Yep. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> it's coffee break! Welcome! Yay! It, woo! We replaced the Keurig with a Mr. Coffee. Yes, because the Keurig like exploded in case you weren't around last week. Keurig went to shit. So now we got more coffee. <laughs> I'm telling you what, the French press is a lot harder to work. It is. And it takes time. Yeah. But it makes some decent coffee. Yeah, if you don't mind that kind of grainy, sandy texture at the bottom of your cup, it's fine. You always complain about the grounds. I always get a lot of grounds. I tell you what, I never got this many grounds with an original Mr. Coffee. So now we're back full circle. It just works out better because we drink a lot of coffee. It does. You know what, um... We should get cereal. Okay. Because our milk's going to expire soon. There's this stuff that people need to know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? They're fucking, they're killing themselves knowing whether so, or not our milk expires soon or not. So I guess after this podcast, we're getting cereal. Mm -hmm. In case you really wanted to know that. We haven't even opened the milk yet. I know. And we, it's going to expire in like two days. <laughs> I got to eat a lot of cereal. <laughs> okay. So last weekend was Super Bowl weekend. Yes. And for those who watched, that was boring. It was. Like, it wasn't even a good game. <laughs> um, the trailers. Wow, a lot of crypto. A lot, a lot of crypto. Like, and I saw this tweet. It's been floating around different websites and stuff. But there was this tweet that said, the thing that really makes me not sure that crypto is real currency is you don't see commercials for real money. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there were some movie trailers. I just had much higher expectations for the Super Bowl this year. Other yeah. than that Larry David ad. That which was also funny. just crypto again. <laughs> Even the stupid ones? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we got uh, another look at Jurassic World Dominion. Mm-hmm. It looks good. Yeah. Look, as long as we avoid what we did in that last one, Oof. we'll be fine. Oh, I can't, I can barely even remember the last one. Uh, remember the Indoraptor? Yeah, I only, and I only remember the The dinosaurs. genetically cloned girl who shares DNA with the oh, Indoraptor. yeah, they really did do that, huh? Yep. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Spoilers if you haven't watched it. I just want dinosaurs. At this rate, I would rather just take the land before time, but make it, like, as realistically animated as the dinosaurs from Jurassic Park. I just give me that. The dinosaurs don't need to talk. I would have an entirely just no dialogue dinosaur movie. I just want the dinosaurs. I don't care about the people. <laughs> I'd love to see Littlefoot's parents get killed by the T-Rex. Yeah, that should be cool. I mean, no, 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 Think no. of all that blood and carnage there. She it's a real kids movie there. She didn't die from a T-Rex. Uh, didn't rocks fall on her? Oh, whatever. Or she got sick or something? I thought that was grandma. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen it. Yeah. Beautiful animation. <laughs> but I, I think it's cool that dinosaurs are just kind of roaming around now. Yeah. You know? Pretty stupid. It would destroy the, uh... The ecosystem? Yeah, the ego... <laughs> the ecosystem is now destroyed. <laughs> that's, that's Chris Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Mario? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I saw... You mean was, Garfield? It was a fake... It was a fake thing, but it was... Charles Martinet getting back at Chris Pratt by playing Chris in his biopic. <laughs> Um, we saw a trailer for Nope, and a proper trailer. Mm -hmm. Last week, I was talking about it, um, because we only saw clips from his other movies. Yeah. And now they finally showed us, which it looks like it's a sci-fi western. Yeah, like an alien type of deal. Aliens and cowboys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. saw that earlier, and I was like, ugh. They're a good combo. They're a fun combo. Did you ever watch that one? Um, no. <laughs> it, it wasn't that good of a combo. <laughs> is our air conditioner running? Is it? Do we need to turn it off? Yeah, can you go turn that off? Yeah. Yeah, um, it looks fun. It does. Like, I knew it was gonna be, because 
he's a good director and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's weird. His career is very interesting to me to go from stupid, wacky comedies to mm-hmm. very serious, intense horror. Films. horror yeah. <laughs> um, the Batman got another trailer. Yeah. We've seen plenty of trailers for The Batman, which will be out not this week, but next week. Mm-hmm. It's finally happening. Um, we'll talk about it more when it gets there, but I- I'm just loving it. I think this looks really good. I know you're super excited. I want to be more excited, but you... I'm, I've am i been burned by DC's movies too many times. <laughs> you will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we saw a trailer for The Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power. Yep. Lots of rings. Not a lot of rings. It's about the rings. If you didn't know, this story is about rings. Do you want some fucking jewelry? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that trailer looks horrible. I don't. I'm not. There's so much CGI. Oh my god. It's. Ugh. Ugh. It, it, it feels like they're not even trying to do the original trilogy, The Lord of the Rings. They're just doing The Hobbit. I don't even know what they're. Because, like, there's this. Also, okay, so, like. Ugh. They don't look like themselves. Like, there's this blonde lady, and that's supposed to be Gladriel. But she's decked out in, like, Rohirrim-looking-ass armor. (laughs) There's Uh, this, like, little twinkish-looking boy who's supposed to be Elrond, but it's like, no. (laughs) No, you at least get his eyebrows to be the right shape. (laughs) I found it interesting that Celebrimbor is not in that trailer. As far as we can tell. Well, do you know who he is? I do know Calibrimbor. He was also in that uh, that game. Yes. He is the one who made the rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Besides the one ring. I don't even, like, what are, What story is this even going to be telling? It's supposed to be about the myth, the forging of these rings. You, so you would think Calibrimbor would be kind of... Yeah, that's why I'm like, I don't want to watch this. It seems a lot like they're desperately trying to make a big... Like, they want to establish this Thrones. big old world. Yeah, it's just going to be Game of Thrones again. Look, but I don't want Game of Thrones flavored Lord of the Rings. I want Lord of the Rings. <laughs> when Game of Thrones hit its sixth season, and that's with the Battle of the Bastards, which mm-hmm. won the Emmys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, really good episode. Super good. Intense fight. Um, everyone else was like, we need Game of Thrones. Yeah. So Netflix went out there and bought The Witcher. Yep. And Amazon went out and bought... Uh, the Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's what they're trying to do. Even, uh, even other things. Like that one, The Wheel of Time. Yeah, that was another one Amazon went after. That was another one where it's like, it, uh, you watch it and you just you can't help but sit there and go, this is just some marketing executive's answer to Game of Thrones' popularity. Oh, uh, History Channel has um, Vikings. Yeah. Vikings came out like a while ago, too. No, no, no. It's a sequel series. Oh, really? <laughs> it has a subtitle to it. Uh, one of them has the rights for Aragon. I think it's the Vikings, uh, Valhalla. Okay. How original. <laughs> yeah. One of them has, I think it's Netflix, has the rights to Aragon. And there's been talks about making an Aragon series, but... Oh, because that worked out so good the first time. Well, it, it would have been better if they literally paid attention to anything in the book. <laughs> they just missed every single important... Hey, I really love the part... Critter, Critter, you're missing the part where if you're going to adapt anything, you ignore the source material. Yeah, just skim the Wikipedia article. <laughs> if you want to really know how to adapt properly... You look at M. Night Shyamalan's work on Ooh. Avatar, <laughs> and you do your critical research mm-hmm. through a Wikipedia page. Do not watch the damn show, mm-hmm. okay? Don't do that. Especially when you don't know how to pronounce someone's name. You just guess. You Obviously, just... Ong. Ong. Soka. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to forgive him for that. Uh. <laughs> I just don't even watch his movies anymore. Like, I don't even... Wait a minute. I totally forgot about this. This happened a while ago, too. Did you hear about uh, what happened with the, um... Because they're doing... They're trying to do a li- another live-action one for Netflix. Like a series. <laughs> yeah, I know thing. the original two guys who made Avatar left. So, something else happened recently. They had to cast an actor for Sokka. And then they f- fired him recently because he lied about being Native American. That's disgusting. Yeah, he, like, forged... Uh, documents and stuff to pretend to be Native American because they were looking for Native American actors get, to get the role. And they found out that he just made up a tribe, basically. And uh, so he's been fired. 
So, not a great start with the pre-production of the series. Who is this loser? I didn't bother remembering his name because scum like that is not worthy of remembering. <laughs> That's just not right. Yeah. Um, uh, Sanic Dose. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'm so excited. I'm stupid. Did you hear that they're also planning on having, like, a Knuckles movie? Or something. Yeah, they're already planning a spinoff. I can't wait. Idris Elba has such a good voice for Knuckles, too. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he'll be James Bond? I hope so. I think he could be a very good James Bond. I think they're beating around that bush, and it's like, okay. Idris Elba's been in a lot of commercials and stuff lately. He's been doing a lot of things lately. <laughs> so this next one. Oh, Sonic does look good. I'm excited. I can't I, wait. I enjoyed the first one. I hope this one follows up on that. I wonder what the third one's going to be. Like, okay, we haven't gotten to the second one yet. But like, I wonder if they're going to start with Metal Sonic or if they're going to start with Shadow. Those are very... Those are like the next ideas. <laughs> um, Doctor Strange in yeah. the Multiverse of Madness. That was a fun trailer. There's two trailers. Yeah. So there's a theatrical trailer and then there's a TV spot. Mm-hmm. Which and are similar, but they show differences. slightly different footage here and there. So we see uh, three different Doctor Stranges. Mm-hmm. There is our Doctor Strange. Yep, yep. There is a uh, strange defender. Mm-hmm. He has white hair. And then... And he has, like, a ponytail, too. Yep. And then there's a, a Supreme. Sinister Strange? Is that no. what he is? Supreme? S strange Supreme? Yeah, Strange Supreme. Yeah, 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 yeah. And... He might be the bad guy, but people are also thinking it's Wanda because it looks like she's attacking too. It's hard to tell. You know, maybe everyone's a bad guy. <laughs> it's gonna. Yeah. Doctor Strange has always been a weird character to me. That was the one because we rewatched Doctor Strange recently. Well, you watched Doctor Strange for the first time. Listen, I remembered like the first ten minutes. <laughs> it was when he was bef right before he got his cape. That's when I stopped remembering what was happening. <laughs> the cape's the best character. The cape is the best character. But uh, I remember when Doctor Strange was first getting announced. I was like, this is going to be the one where it's going to get hard trying to keep track of everything. Because even if you like miss one movie here or there, you can still keep track of the characters, their backstories and whatever. But as soon as Doctor Strange got introduced and real magic and time shenanigans and like multi-dimensional hopping entities... That's when it was like, yeah, you're going to have to really start actually paying attention if I want to keep up. So there's a lot of cool little Easter eggs in that trailer. Mm -hmm. um, we have a new Marvel character showing up. Yeah. America. Uh, American Chavez. Yep. She looks fun. Um, that, that weird tentacle eye thing. Yeah. Which is a character. I remember playing as him in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Cool. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> um... What else was there? Oh, Ultrons are in there. If mm -hmm. you look closely, they're Ultrons. And I'm pretty sure Professor X, Patrick Stewart, is yeah. in that. Because mm -hmm. you hear his voice distinctly and you kind of see a bit of his bald head. We went on a bit of a... Uh, we watched a lot of like theory Breakdowns. videos and analysis and stuff. Yeah. Um, and there's something really interesting in there. Th we might be getting... An uh, Iron Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Omni Iron Man? Is that what he's called? Oh my god. Is that not? Iron Man Supreme. The, what? You the Supreme. Supreme is. The Supremes that's are the Illuminati so and they're the ones controlling this <laughs> it's thing. Like, it's like, like, what should we call our, nin our new Nintendo system? Super Nintendo. All right, that's it. We'll just put super on everything from now on. <laughs> so I was scouring the corners of social media. And <laughs> what I found was interesting. I don't believe it completely true. Um. I don't know if I can repost this, but there's something really interesting here because it's showing the cast and the actors. And we have uh, Benedict Cumberbatch playing Doctor Strange, Strange Supreme, Defender Strange, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Scarlet Johansson, Scarlet Witch, Jesus. <laughs> Same franchise. The one that isn't dead yet. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Elizabeth Olsen. Um, then we'll have another guy playing doctor strange and another version of wong mm, interesting and then it says this is where it gets weird okay it says matt murdoch daredevil is yeah. going to be in here but it's not going to be charlie cox who played him in netflix Who's it's going to be ben affleck ben affleck really Ooh. well i mean 
That'd be cool. I'm not gonna lie, that would be cool. I, I liked that movie. <laughs> so then you get Hyperion, which is another Marvel lore character, mm-hmm. being played by Henry Cavill. Ooh. Well, we're just stealing all of the, the Justice League, aren't we? <laughs> Where's Jason Momoa <laughs> and Gal Gadot? <laughs> then it shows uh, Reed Richards, Sue Storm, and Johnny Storm as the original actors from the Fantastic Four. So, like, Chris Evans? Yes, as Johnny Storm. What about, wait, what about the thing? Yeah, he's not in here. Oh, Poor Ben didn't make it. Always getting shafted. Then it says Wolverine, which we kind of knew about this before, Mm -hmm. that Wolverine would be showing up, and it's going to be Hugh Jackman. Wanda is the biggest, like, thing tying us to the X-Men at this point. And it would make sense to use Wanda to bring in the Mm X-Men. Then uh, X-23 by the girl who played her in uh, Logan. Oh, how old is she now? I don't know. She's got to be a teenager now. Yeah, she's going to be looking a little bit different. (laughs) Jean Grey as uh, by sophie turner so the uh the younger one. Oh, so like the oh interesting first huh. class yeah 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 apocalypse huh she's a good actress she deserves to get better roles <laughs> magneto by ian mckellen not Michael, yeah i don't know why so huh <laughs> I, again i don't know how far we can take this because after that it says professor charles xavier patrick stewart and charles xavier james mcavoy huh if this is true, this is a lot of characters. This cast is supposed to be, and they've said this before, bigger than the cast for Endgame. Ah, I don't know if that's a good idea when necessarily. When you're throwing around this many names, it starts to make me wonder. Also, this is gonna, if this is true, this is going to be a fucking expensive movie. Getting half of these actors would be expensive. Well, okay. <laughs> um, Mystique is supposed to show up as Jennifer Lawrence, Emma Frost. Boo. Um... <laughs> The Beast, which will be uh, Nicholas Holt, who's oh. the number one. Storm will be Holly Berry. Okay. You're not gonna... Kelsey Grammer is way too old to be playing him. But I love Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> He's amazing. Frasier was a good show. <laughs> He's done more cool things other than just Frasier. <laughs> They're gonna introduce uh, Jubilee, finally. Oh, really? I think she was in one of the other ones, but yeah, she's, like, like, barely there. Like some, like, background character. Which yeah. I was always like, why didn't you just... Bring her out. She's one of, like, the main X-Men. Because it, during the cartoons run, a lot of people didn't like Jubilee. Oh, they made her annoying. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. We made this unlikable character, and people don't like her. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, Gambit, there'll be two different Gambits. Neat. Quicksilver. Evan Peters. So, the... Our quick... Wait, which... Wait, which... Wait, which one is... Whoa. I can't. <laughs> There's too many names. <laughs> now, this is an interesting thing. Evan Peters playing Quicksilver again. He was Quicksilver for X-Men's younger series, uh, okay. right? And then a... they brought him into... Um, With WandaVision. WandaVision, Are they... right? But that turned out to be false. Mm-hmm. But now we're going to get a variant but of now, him. It might not be... Unless it's unless it's Wanda tripping balls, which I don't know that might happen based on some of the shots we saw from the trailer. Okay, so this one gets weirder because mm-hmm. he's Ralph Bonner, that's the character's name. Okay. Pietro Maximoff will be Aaron Taylor Johnson, who played him in Ultron. Okay. Vision will be coming back, which makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Agatha Hark- Harkness will be coming back. Woo! Yeah. Um. Monica Rambo will be coming back, Ooh. along with uh, Jimmy Woo. Yeah. Uh, da, da. Lawrence da- Daly, Ben Stiller. Don't know that character, but mm-hmm. I don't know why Ben would be here. Mm-mm. Uh, Darcy will be coming back. Uh huh. Her her two children, Wanda's two children, will be coming back, which yeah. would make sense because that's what happened at the end of the show. Mm-hmm. She could still hear them. Um, Tom Holland Spider Man will be in there. Gwen Stacy by Sabrina Carpenter. Which one's that one? Gwen Stacy? Yeah, which one? Like uh... That was his original girlfriend before MJ. No, but like which which version of Gwen Stacy? I don't know, it just says Gwen <laughs> Stacy because after that it says Spider Gwen by a different actress. Oh my god. <laughs> and okay, this is it. Ugh, oh my god. <laughs> if you're not spidered out yet, you're about to get hit hard. I guess it's a good thing I like Spider-Man. Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Tobey Maguire. Yep. 
Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, this is another thing. As a Spider-Man? <laughs> yes. Again, we don't know how far to push this, but here's this theory about Leo playing Spider-Man. Back in the 90s, before um, Sam Raimi ever directed mm -hmm. the Sp uh, Spider-Man, right? With yeah. Tobey Maguire. James Cameron was working on his own Spider-Man film. And he has called it um, the greatest movie he's never made. It's pretty and lofty. Uh, he wanted <laughs> Leo, because they work very closely together. Mm -hmm. um, he wanted Leo to play him. God, could you imagine our world where it, Leo, Leo was a Spider-Man? Spider I wonder, are they going to de-age Leo at all? Why? I Why not know. just have an older Spider-Man? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that movie never, never came to fruition, of course. Um, he was supposed to fight the Vulture, which... Eventually, that all got reworked Man, into Homecoming. A lot of them really tried getting to Vulture, huh? <laughs> Vulture was supposed to be Spider-Man 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. There, there was plans to always bring the Vulture in. Um, that's interesting. Tony Stark, Iron Man, Tom Cruise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the real... This is the real shit here. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I love it. I like Tom Cruise. I love Tom Cruise. I I'm, think he's a great actor. I think I think a superhero role would do great for him because he can do a good like performance acting. He's not just running and stunts and well, whatever. Well, <laughs> the the Illuminati are control, controlling the whole thing, right? Yes. Supposedly, there's the Council of them. That's what they're called. The in, Supremes. In the in the comics. <laughs> yeah, I'm not throwing conspiracy theories out there. <laughs> but if I had to say, <laughs> um. It's supposed to be uh, Iron Man Supreme, mm -hmm. where he's taken the power of the Tesseract and used it. And you can see this character using something similar to the power of the Tesseract. Yeah, there is a lot of glowies and certain colors being thrown around. And when you look at that mask very closely, it looks very similar to his mask. Here's the thing. I'm willing to bet a lot of the footage we're getting from these trailers are... Heavily <laughs> edited. Yeah, fake, for lack of a better word. Yeah. Like putting characters out of place or changing colors or whatever because they the fans were too smart and they kept catching things so now they have to lie in their trailers <laughs> but they really screwed up on that lizard thing when you see tom holland's spider-man jumping at them mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden lizard just starts spinning out on his own yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we're not done hulk by ed norton he's coming back to play him after playing him in the incredible hulk Neat. and hulk lou ferrigno Oh, really? <laughs> it would make sense if it worked like this. The human form of Hulk would be Edward Norton, right? Mm -hmm. And then when he would transform, Lou would just voice him. Because he's done that before. Okay, okay. Interesting. In fact, Ed didn't even voice the Hulk. Oh, really? It was Lou. Oh, okay. And then finally, Blade, Marshal Ali, which we already know. Because yeah. we're, we're getting there. Who's has been thrown around a couple of times. Well, he was at the end of the... Uh, Eternals. That's just like a lot of characters. And here's the thing. I feel like if 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 literally all of that is true, no one's going to be on screen for more than three seconds. For sure. Watch this is like a three hour movie. I bet it's like four. <laughs> three and a half, you know. <laughs> I'm excited. I will actually go watch this one. Mm -hmm. um, just because the X-Men are showing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to know what's happening. Um, but like, it, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I imagine it's going to be similar. I'm picturing something similar to the Lego movie when he's like being scrutinized by the council and it's just like a bunch of random one-off characters like Superman says something and then Gandalf says something and then fucking it's just they all have like one line of dialogue and then they're gone from the movie basically. You know what was bonkers to me when you bring up the the Lego movies? Hmm. The Batman Lego movie, which might be one of the greatest Batman films ever. Yes. Um <laughs> The bad guy's at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Voldemort is there. Uh, Sauron is there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they brought back all sorts of weird characters. They did a lot of, like, I think Darth Vader is there, too? I don't think Vader was there. Maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, it might be overwhelming. It might be. This might be the point where people drop off. It, yeah, if, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's also rumors that Loki's gonna show up in this. I but it's not going to be our Loki or that time variant Loki. It'll be but one, of, a different one of the other variants of Loki. <laughs> I don't know. It, it. I feel like they're starting to bite off more than they can chew. And I think this is going to be the part where they're going to start losing general audience members. Like, people won't be able to keep up at this point. Yeah. 
We'll find out. We'll find out. I could be wrong. Comes out this May, I think. Um, might be April. So, this weekend, we saw Uncharted come to light. Yeah, we didn't watch it. No, Fuck that. No, God, no. <laughs> it's got Tom Holland in it. <laughs> it's tanking. <clears throat> The reviews are awful. <laughs> it's got a 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. Now, the fans, which I'm guessing the only people really going to see this are, are like the diehard fans. Fans <laughs> of the franchise or teenagers. Probably. Even then. Like, just like Tom Holland and fangirls. <laughs> old. Yep. Yeah, Tom, Fa- Tom Holland fans. Yep, yep. Some Mark Wahlberg fans. But old guys who like action movies yeah and that's the vibe that i got from those trailers i like you know i don't know i just don't like the casting choice i thought i would get used to it i thought it would grow on me it didn't it i don't like it i don't like either of those casting choices they're both fine actors but i think those are bad roles for them (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah i mean i think you totally miscasted it and they rushed it so hard Mm mm-hmm and it just, I don't want to see a dude on a green screen. So know? if you guys <laughs> saw it, comment. Yeah. What did, did you guys like it? What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the Olympics, the Winter Olympics had its closing. Oh yeah, that happened. That sucked. It did. Literally the only thing we ever saw. It was curling. It was just curling the entire time. And like curling's fine and dandy every now and then, but where is any of these other sports? <laughs> Where's figure skating? Like, what time did they, like, air these? <laughs> yeah, I I was not happy with that, because we never got to watch the gold for women's hockey, mm-hmm. which was U.S. and Canada. I knew it was there. We I didn't, didn't get, get to see it, it, though. So, I'm a little pissed off. and Like, they were like, this is the lowest viewed Olympics. It's like, well, did you give it shitty time slots? Yeah, did you show us anything? <laughs> you airing it? these things at, like, noon on a weekday? No one's going to be around to watch it. <laughs> Um, this morning, Queen Elizabeth has COVID. Mm-hmm. She might finally die. She's, what, like 900,000? I'm pretty sure she just sucked the blood of another child and beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, like, I, I'm not big into, like, you know, conspiracy theories Royalty. about government. But if there's any, like, that, she should, like, she's been alive too long. <laughs> it's starting to become eyebrow raising just how long she's been alive. <laughs> <laughs> science so, isn't that good <laughs> the uh peacemaker finale happened yeah and wh- what did you think i loved it it was amazing it was great fantastic show so much fun everyone should watch it there are two cameos in that episode that had me dying laughing <laughs> and i was just like oh my god and when Chris is walking towards them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so much fun. It was, I, it, there, it's been a, a long time since a show has been this engaging and consistently entertaining across all its episodes. They didn't fully wrap up its story? No, but I think that means we could come back again. And I would love a second season. I, I hope there is a second season. Um yeah, there. It's a very bittersweet ending too. Mm-hmm. There is a little sadness in it, and after watching that breakdown of the uh, the opening mm-hmm. and why they dance the way they dance, yeah, and then now we're going back and rewatching and catching all these things. Yeah, if th- this will let you guys know how much we love this, we are rewatching it again, and we we rewatched the first four episodes already again before the finale aired. So, <laughs> this is like our third and a half time rewatching the series. <laughs> um, How I Met Your Father. Oof. It's, uh... I wanted to bring this up because this is what we talk about. And when we get into deeper looks at what's happening here. Mm-hmm. And it's really sad that that show started so great. Yeah. And now... I don't know, that last episode was bad. I'm just, I'll say it, it was bad. This seems to not be able to get away from the sitcom formula. And which is, and I don't want to compare it too much to How I Met Your Mother. Yeah. Because that's honestly unfair to compare anything to How I Met Your Mother. But they didn't do this where it was just cringe comedy. But it is, it is still called How I Met Your Father. Like, I, it's not unreasonable for me to be comparing it to it. And How I Met Your Mother avoided these sitcom tropes or would subvert them in some way. 
Yeah, they did a really good job with that, mm-hmm. especially with uh, Barney Stinson and his brother. Also, at this point, and maybe it's because it is still early. This was like episode five or six last week. Yeah. But, like, I don't like these characters much. Like, they're fine, but I haven't gotten to, like, love them yet. <laughs> they don't spend enough time just being themselves. They always spend their time, like, tr- getting into wacky sitcom conveniences. Blah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I know the show's about relationships, but what she did in that last episode, stealing his phone Mm -hmm. because she was paranoid about his past. Yeah. I mean, what a childish thing to do. It was the episode prior where the the sister, I forget her name, she was like, I'm going to make a BLT, and then her tomato was like completely rotten, but only on the inside. And so she looked across the hallway and saw like at a funeral... There was, like, a platter with tomato slices. It was awake. And then she just walked up and, like, started taking tomato slices. And then someone was like, what are you doing here? And rather than be like, I'm just taking some tomato slices, she lied about it. It's, that, it's those kind of things. I hate, it, like, sitcom tropes like that. And then we brought back that character again. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, another thing. Just, I wish we can get past this. Because this is what killed... Uh, sitcoms Mm -hmm. they're dying right now they are and it's because they do stupid little fucking things like this Mm -hmm. and that makes the audience either feel uncomfortable or um upsets them because now we feel like they think we're stupid Mm -hmm. like the the world of television is not the the same like even like it, it even just looking at children's cartoons we went from things like it's fairly odd parents where it's Every episode is just some wacky slapstick comedy thing. Yeah, there's not really an overarching story. And nowadays we have things like Steven Universe where it is an overarching story. Now that's the common thing now. Yep. Sitcoms need to evolve in the same way if they don't want to die off. (laughs) Yeah. And I would look at series like uh, The Mandalorian, Peacemaker. Mm -hmm. Um, What's another good one? Um, Recently? I can't think of anything. <laughs> it's mostly the, the Marvel shows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, like Hawkeye was another good one. Yeah, Hawkeye was really good. Yeah. Um, even Falcon and Winter Soldier, which not many people liked. I found some enjoyment in it. But now that story's over. Mm-hmm. We can do Captain America 4. We can just move on from here. Yeah. And the thing is, and you could say, well, those shows we mentioned aren't necessarily sitcoms. Um, just because it doesn't have a set with an audience on it, you know, it's still the same. It's still a, a story structure with comedy and fun stuff. Yeah, just condense the story down. Yep, and here they are. There They're they are. back. <laughs> Ooh. Our friends, the lawnmowers. <laughs> um, something I wanted to bring up is I got AMC Plus, which is AMC's streaming service. It was free, right? Yeah, it was free for me. Um, but... I, now I can watch The Walking Dead's last season. Woo! And I'm going through it, and I'm like, okay, I'm enjoying it because I enjoy the show. But I can see why people are just like, no, I'm done. And it's way too much. It's, 12 years is too long. It is. Like, it's hard keeping any show alive for even just 10. Yeah. And let's be honest, Walking Dead was hemorrhaging a while ago. <laughs> yeah. It should have ended a while ago. I can't believe they've actually stretched it out. And I, I, I stretched watched, out into three parts. I watched just like like half of an episode with you yesterday, and I was amazed at how much just nothing. It was the same thing. It's a lot of talking. Walking around zombies, someone's hurt, and they, oh my god, she got, they gotta die. They, is yeah, <laughs> a lot of talking about ideals as if it hasn't been over a decade in universe of zombies wandering around yeah (laughs) you think we'd be over this kind of thing Mm -hmm. um i hope it ends well they're hinting that uh past characters who have left the show like uh andrew lincoln and i forgot who played michonne but they're supposed to come back you you can tell that they're like we need them to come back to wrap this thing up that's the last hurrah they can get for their finale also like i don't even i'm not even interested in their spin-off stuff like fear of the walking dead or Walking Dead Teen Edition or whatever it was. <laughs> world, world Beyond. It's just like, it's all the same thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, Fear of the Walking Dead, I tried. I could not. 
I could not get into that. Like, even the early episodes weren't all that fun. No. I got the season two, and I was like, I can't. I can't do it. Because we kind of it's the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the same thing, just repeated over and over again. Um, so, hopefully, this will end, and we can move on with zombies. You know, maybe give them a break. Yeah. I think everyone has been zombied out for a while now. You know, we're not really making zombie movies. Unless it's a video game franchise. <laughs> that turned out great, didn't it? <laughs> God damn it. Just fucking leave it alone. What? Resident Evil. Don't try to adapt it. I know, right? <laughs> Every time you do, you fucking trip and fall on your face and we all have to watch. <laughs> we have to. <laughs> okay, uh, not much is upcoming. There wasn't much going on this week. Um, I really expected there to be more from the Super Bowl. It's disappointing. <laughs> and we are going to get into stuff, but mm -hmm. March is going to be a little dry, and then April will start kicking it off, and yeah, May yeah, 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 yeah. we get our flagships. I feel like I said this last time. Um, what is coming up, I found interesting, is a movie called Studio 666. It looks like good. <laughs> it's like it shouldn't be, but it does. <laughs> The Foo Fighters, the band... The actual Foo Fighters. The actual band members. <laughs> ...are trying to write their 10th album, and they go to a haunted house to record it. Mm -hmm. There, Dave Grohl, the lead singer, gets possessed by a demon and forces his bands, bandmates to record this album, and then he slowly starts killing them. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a comedy, also. Like a dark comedy. It's a horror comedy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I would totally watch it. <laughs> I'm not even that big of a Foo Fighters fan. It just looks funny to me. <laughs> They've been around for a while. They got some good stuff. Um, the other big thing is Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally. I feel like it's been forever. Yeah. Oh, uh, next week, well, actually seven days from now, so next Sunday, is going to be Pokemon Day. Are they going to do anything? I don't know. People are speculating, but... I don't know. Maybe something interesting will happen. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Cool. I have nothing else to say. There's not... Sorry, guys. This is going to be probably a really, really short one. There's just nothing to really talk about. <laughs> yeah. And sorry about my energy today. I had horrible nightmares. And it just drained me. I had weird dreams, too. But yours are always way worse. <laughs> Man, mine have to get so physical and graphic. And I don't like that. I just fall into, like like inception where i realize i'm dreaming but i don't realize the extent of my, my dreaming so i can't get like lucid dreaming to ever happen well here's how intense my dreams are if something hits me i feel it mm -hmm. um supernatural forces are in my dreams so i have to deal with those mm -hmm. lovely creepy little monsters crawling out <laughs> um Last night I dreamt of this like witch thing. It was like a little doll trinket and it just started moving around and it hit me in the face and I felt it. Um, I'm able to visit past dreams, but Ugh. time has gone through. Ugh. Ugh. So mm. things are evolving and I, I mean, you said I'm possessed by a demon or something, maybe? <laughs> I mean, this is weird. There are people who try to study dreams. They should be studying you. <laughs> I know. I'd be like, dude, I don't want to tell you what happened in that one. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I hope you guys have a good week. Yeah, hopefully there's more to talk about next time. It's pretty relaxed for now, until Russia does something. <laughs> um, nice, chill, happy Sunday. Yeah, enjoy your Sunday. This is Coffee Break. Good night and good luck. Bye-bye.